Hey, it's Michael Tech TV, and I'm going to do a video about one of the most dangerous things that you can do um, with your paintball equipment. This is more dangerous than taking your mask off in the middle of, of playing. This is probably the most dangerous thing that you can do because if you do this, it can kill you, okay? This is a failed mistake. Now, there have been some people that luckily have been okay, you know, have been okay and have gotten away with just severe burns by doing this. Um, and, and luckily, this has not caused a fatality, but this very easily could cause a fatality. What I want to talk to you, the reason why I have a little thing of gasoline here is because paintball tanks operate at very high pressures. And you have to understand that with a paintball tank, inside here, inside of the bottle, which gets up to 4,500 PSI, anything that has any sort of a petroleum in it, like any sort of lubricant or anything like that, that gets into the bottle, once it fills up to 4,500 PSI, will operate like a diesel engine. The pressure alone is enough to detonate it. Now, as you see across the world, this general paintball is extremely safe. The only way that, that I've seen that you can get um, um, you know, lubricant into your tank is not through up here. You gotta understand that, that this, is, this, this all operates one way. Air comes in through here, air exits through here. So it comes in through here, goes out through there. This is not like CO2 where air comes in through the front and then air comes out through the, you know, air comes in through the front and then it also exits through the front, okay? It comes in, out, in, out, okay? It doesn't go back, it doesn't go backwards. What has happened and, and what has caused paintball tanks to explode is when fill nipples on the tanks start leaking. Okay, and inside of the fill nipple is basically what's called a shuttle valve. What it is, is when air pressure is going into it, it pushes the shuttle valve out of the way. When the air pressure stops, the air pressure from the tank closes it. Okay, it's just a shuttle. So it shuttles back and forth, okay, up and down. It's in the middle. When, uh, when you start airing it up, it opens up. And when you let off the air, it goes back up and it closes. Okay, it's just a shuttle valve. That's all it is. What happens is there's an O-ring in there that seals off the tank from from the, the, um, the, you know, the seals off the fill nipple after you're done filling it. Those O-rings wear out, okay? Usually about once a year, um, you know, probably after filling it hundreds and hundreds of times, those O-rings will wear out. What happens is, is because the compressors are filling air which we breathe, okay? And that includes dirt and dust and moisture and everything that's in the air that we breathe. Um, you know, you picture like, you know, after you're playing paintball, you go and you blow your nose and it's like mud that comes out of your nose. Okay. That's what gets into the, that's what gets into the tanks. It takes all of that, shrinks it down, puts it in the fill nipple. After about a year, after all that sand and stuff is shooting by the fill nipple, the O-ring wears out. What happens and what causes this fatal mistake is paintball players, instead of taking off the fill nipple and replacing the O-ring, what they decide to do is to pump uh, um, um, oil down into the fill nipple and then air it up and then try to see if that oil will wash the o-ring and blast all the dirt back into the tank and seal it off okay that is a fatal mistake doing this you will kill yourself doing this okay so that's what happens you never ever ever want to take lubricant whether it's gun oil or mineral oil or or you know, trifluoro or anything, and put it into the fill nipple. Here, it's fine, okay? If you put it inside your gun, or you take your gun, and, and uh, like this, and, and, and sit there and just squirt oil down into your gun, that's okay, because at 850 PSI, the, the lubricants are fine, okay? And, and, the, and, and paintball's tested this for years, okay? With CO2 tanks, with uh, you know, all the spiders and the tippins and all that stuff and the autocockers, they've been taking oil and putting it down in the feed neck for years, okay? Or into the, uh, the, the, I'm sorry, the ASA for years. That is okay. At 850 PSI, the oils that we commonly use for paintball are very stable. Where they're not stable is above the 2000 PSI range, which, which like I said, if you want to turn your tank into a bomb, okay, and I don't recommend doing this, it's going to take you out. You take oil and you put it down into your feed neck. When you air this thing up, what's going to happen is, is the oil that is inside of your tank is going to do what like a diesel engine does, and it's going to explode. 
and probably one of these tanks blowing up will easily, easily pretty much pull the top off of a car. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. So I got to I gotta um, put this out there as a safety warning because a lot of people are like, you put a drop of oil on, on, your, on your threads or you're going to kill yourself. No, it, that's not what happens. Putting oil into the fill nipple is a fatal mistake. Don't ever, ever, ever put oil into your fill nipple. Don't ever put oil into the line to get into your tank, okay? That is what causes tanks to explode. The reason why, and I'll say it one more time, this is compressed air at 4,500 PSI. Anything above about 2,300, 3,000 PSI, um, oils and, and, and petrol, petroleum products will explode, just like a diesel engine. So this is just regular air. You put oil in here, Put your, you know, the, uh, the, the, the fill hose on here, you blast it in here, you shoot the pressure up inside the tank to 4,500 PSI, the pressure causes the oil to ignite and your tank explodes. That's what happens. It's not putting it on the, on the, on the, on the, on the tank threads, it's not putting it in the ASA, that's not what causes tank to explode. So under any circumstances, you never, ever, ever want to put oil into your fill nipple. Putting it into the fill nipple is gonna put it in the tank, and once the pressure hits the tank, it's going to explode. If you have any questions about this whatsoever, any questions about this whatsoever, contact me. What I recommend you doing, if your fill nipple starts to leak, what you can try to do is while you're still, while you're still on the fill station, try to tap the fill station, you know, hit that button a couple times and maybe see if you can blow the dirt past it. If that doesn't work, take it off, let all the air bleed out of it, Take it over to a qualified paintball store or take it to the field manager and see if they can pull off your fill nipple, replace your O-ring, and then put it back on there. Don't put oil in it. You're going to get yourself severely hurt if not killed. So hopefully this clears up some confusion. If you have any questions about this whatsoever, any questions, email me or PM me. I'll answer your questions. Thank you very much for tuning in.